course, mobile devices have opened up the market for gaming on the go. It's growing in popularity across the globe and in China, providing a new frontier for players and developers. Siming Wong is with Super Data Research. I spoke with her about China's mobile gaming industry. So video gaming is definitely very large in China, especially on mobile. Over 85% of the Chinese video gamers are playing on their mobile device, such as their cell phones and their tablets. The local mobile uh, digital market size was 16 billion U.S. dollar in 2017. It has been growing very steadily in 2018 so far. Uh, it seems like everybody's got a smartphone these days, so everybody's capable of playing uh, with a mobile device. But do you think it's going to change how uh, mobile devices are uh, manufactured in the future to perhaps uh, cater to this audience? Um, We've seen a few cases that uh, when a phone manufacturer is launching their phone, they are very specifically targeting uh, video game video gamers. Uh, I think in the future, um, more and more manufacturers will start doing this and make their game and heavily advertise on how uh, compatible their devices to video games. Is gaming universal, or, or would you want to target uh, an audience in China differently than perhaps you might uh, a Western audience? Um, a huge thing that can help the game success is localization. And when I'm talking about localization, I'm not just talking about translating the game properly into local language, in, uh, into Chinese in this case. It's also about tapping the game uh, details into so different aspects in the society, such as internet culture, what teenagers or kids or people of different ages like in this market specifically. A great example would be like Overwatch, where uh, it's a digital shooter that's launched in China in 2016, where they have uh, launched a few Chinese New Year related theme skins. Uh, and emoji in-game items, things that people can spend their money on, or the thing they can see in the game scenes that's very, that, that makes people think that, oh, this is, the, this, is the, this game caters to me, this is very Chinese to me. And I think this is the key aspect to make a game that's successful in this market. Um, okay. Let me ask you about a game like Fortnite. Would that be successful in China? Um, since the game Fortnite is launched in China on PC, but is not officially launched on mobile platform, if we're talking about Fortnite mobile, um, we can look at other uh, battle royale games, which is the uh, genre that Fortnite is in, and look at other games that's out in the Chinese digital market. So Fortnite as a game that's entering this market uh, will not find much difficulty in finding the first adopters and finding social recognition and player recognition. It's interesting, I was looking at the numbers. Uh, female gamers, and I know that you're a gamer, uh, active in the Chinese market, reached 264 million in 2017. It's about 45% of the total. Um, do you see a shift in the types of games as a result of that long term? In China, no matter if it's PC or mobile, there have always been more male players. But on mobile, we're definitely seeing more female playing video games. And in terms of like game type or game style changing, is definitely forcing game developers to make more uh, diverse game that's catered to you know different aspects of the society no matter what gender they are all right well i can't thank you enough all really right. appreciate your time